Hi everybody, welcome to a Saturday edition of Monkey Island Madness. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and work on this journal cover and get it done because March 1st is rapidly approaching and I want to have it ready to mail when the whole um, scavenger hunt deadline is over. But yesterday, um, just for the fun of it, I wanted to organize my journaling stencils and I had got this notebook at Michael's for no money and um, I hadn't done anything with it. I was going to use it for my ideas book but that it probably is never going to happen. But anyway, it's real pretty. It's real pretty. Anyway, so yesterday I went ahead and figured out a way that I could put all my bullet journal stencils in here. And what I did was I used the packaging that the stencils came in on this first part. These are just the little um, cellophane packages that they came in. And I added, um, this is actually Scotch brand. It's a little bit more durable than washi tape. Um, and just added on a tab and punched holes in it so they slide in and out real easy. And so now when I'm arting on the couch, which is normally where I use these, um, I can just flip through. Hang on. There we go. So, yeah, I was really excited about this. So this is all my journaling stencils, all organized really nicely. That one's upside down. i got to fix that. But see how easy it is to see them and get them out and play with them and put them back. So I really like this idea of just slapping that little thing on there, on the edge. So now I just have all my stuff right here. And then these are, um, this is the 24 set. But when I'm looking now, I can just flip through where before I was having to, you know, mess with them a lot. So, yeah, I'm really, I'm happy that this got done. And then um, before I decided just to do this, and I'm probably going to go back and change this, I was using sheet protectors. Um, cut down um, and just put two back to back. And so I might leave it like this. I might change it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, and that's all that's in there right now. And, and then I thought, because I did go ahead and buy it somewhere, of course, this is almost full at this point with just the stencils, don't judge. Um, I do, I did buy the sheet protectors that actually fit, fit this size. Um, and I had to punch the holes because they didn't come punched correctly. But I might go ahead and put stickers in here. So all my stickers and stencils for my beast will be all in one place. So, yep, that's what I did yesterday afternoon when I didn't have huge amounts of energy. And these, um, these tabs came in the notebook. I don't know that I'm going to use them, but for right now, they're still there. But yeah, I love all my little organized stencils there. So I was going to show you that. And then, that's all. I'm going to work on the journal cover. Nothing else. Hi, Judy. You did a great job at Carol's this morning, Judy. Um, hi, Deb. Um, for those of stickers, too, I do, I do need more binders, no doubt about that. But I'll just put the ones that I'm more likely to use, really. Um, but anyway, for those of you who didn't weren't there, Carol TMT did an auction this morning of some of her artwork to raise some funds for her upcoming move. And I think she did fairly well. I missed the first hour, so I was bummed about that, but I slept in. And... Um, I think she, you know, all the women there were very supportive, and um, I only bought one piece of art, but I have a plan for what I'm going to do to help Carol out. Um, and she is going to um, do it again, I believe she said Tuesday morning. So, um, 
Yeah, if you can make it there for Carol TMT, it's, um, I'm not sure what her YouTube channel is. She does it live on YouTube, not Ustream. Um, and it's, I think her channel is The Magical Touch. So, um, yeah, support her. Um, I think she's having a tough time right now, and that's kind of what this whole community is about. So, if you can see your way clear to do it, you know, try and show her some love. I certainly will be there Tuesday, and I will buy some more, but I will definitely do what I can to help Carol. Um, and, and her artwork, honestly, it's all so beautiful, and it was selling so cheap. Um, so, yeah. Support our fibs, man. Because you never know, you know, any of us could be in a a tough situation sometime and um, I liked what Carol said about by selling her art um, and believe me every bit of it was affordable um, she appreciated our help so much and she wanted to give you something for your money so um, yeah I that's all I can say about that so here we go um, I wish I'd gotten out. You can tell I'm still snotty, so sorry. <laughs> I'm just snotty. What can I say? Um, now, one thing is this golden matte medium. Ha see here on the edge? It left a really nasty, icky mark there. Hopefully, um, yeah, I can cover that up. But I might have to go back in with a black pen or something, too. I've had to do that before, and I'll do it again. So I'm just using matte medium to glue the pieces down. No big deal. Um, okay, Picola just put a um, link in the chat. Um, somebody give me the, the correct name of her channel, if you wouldn't mind, and I'll say it on the recording so that people know. Um, this actually is February 24th, 2018, and it's Saturday, and she's coming back on Tuesday. So, yeah. So if you watch the recording, you can still get to Carol's auction because you'll get some beautiful art for very cheap, very cheap. I was shocked, actually. It is called The Magical Touch. Um, let me spell it out for you because it is different. It's not M-A-G-I-C-A-L. It's M-A-G-I-K-A-L. M-A-G-I-C-K-A-L. Okay, it's magic with a K-A-L on the end, the magical touch. And Carol is a very good artist. I, it, actually, she's good at everything. Like, I, there's nothing that woman can't do, I swear. She's, she uses fiber, she uses beads, she, you know, like she can bead. And yeah, she's uber, uber talented. So... Share the love, man. Shame that postage impossible import duty unfortunately puts it out of range for us in the UK. See, that's what I didn't know. Um, whatever it costs, I, this is my feeling. Whatever it costs me is what it costs me um, because it's not so much about receiving the art as supporting Carol. Um... I mean, I'm going to be thrilled to have her art, but, um, yeah, more than, more, more than anything to me is helping out a, a fib in need. So, you know, if I, if I pay a little bit extra, well, so be it, because that's just how I feel. This golden matte medium is definitely thinner, a lot thinner, than the uh, um, Liquitex, for sure. Damn cat hairs. I'm sorry if the snot is bothersome. I just can't do anything about it. <laughs> I just can't.
I called my brother this morning to tell him I really just felt like Robert and I should not go because Robert still got the cough and all the crap too. Um, he said, well, first of all, it's tomorrow. I was like, well, that's cool. <laughs> I would have come the wrong day. And um, secondly, I don't think any of them need this crap. So he said, yeah, if you're sick, don't come. Hi, Carol. Uh, you came in right when I was yakking about you. Your artwork was gorgeous this morning, Carol, and I will definitely be there Tuesday, and I'm encouraging these people to come and support you. Um, yep. I, ho I hope it went well for you. You got me crying. So, if that was your goal, it worked. <laughs> And I was mostly crying because all the ladies are so awesomely supportive. For real. I'm going at this a little cuckoo today. I will say that. I want a yellow one. Yeah. That one's too much like that one. Bear with me. Bear with. Oop, that one's definitely too much like that one. Uh, those are going to have to be spread out. All right, this one. Uh, hmm. <laughs> it's hard being me right now, you guys. I'm going to put a skinny one in there. All right. I'll cut one to fit. Well, you got us going too. Hey, Jeannie. Hi, Ange. You need a shot of extra sharp ginger brandy. It works if you can't. You can't drink it if you are well. <laughs> okay. So I need to go in search of some of that. Honestly, I haven't left the house in like all week because one, I didn't want to spread the germs, and two, I just didn't feel like it. This stuff dries so fast. Can't hardly get it going, man. I'll, fit one, I'll cut one to fit right there in that middle place. So if you're just coming now, this is the journal um, for the scavenger hunt giveaway. I hope that's the right length. It is. Yay me. And I'm bummed. Eileen had sent me a package from Joggles and was told it would be delivered today via US mail and it did not come so and the mailman's already been here so that's pretty much a done deal it's not coming today but I'm gonna blame my mailman cuz yeah they're a bunch of buttheads down there Can't watch chat. I'm gluing fast. Oops. And Dee Dee came on for a little while this morning and um, colored. So I stopped in over there for a minute. And the rat got a haircut this morning. It's been a busy, busy morning around here, boys and girls. And I did go to, um, there's been a couple of really, really unbelievably kind um, YouTube people 
who have um, given me a shout out on their YouTube channels and um, been promoting the scavenger hunt. And so last night, one of them, the channel name is Crafting Mamas, and her name is Shelly. And um, so last night after Angie's, I ran over to Shelly's because I knew she was streaming last night, and she streams on YouTube, not on Ustream. Um, but it's Crafting Mamas with an S. And, um, oh my gosh, talk about a great group of women over there. They were all just so welcoming and so friendly. And um, so, yeah, I cheated on you guys. I went to a YouTube stream for Crafting Mamas, and I would say if I know she streams on Friday nights, and maybe somebody here in, in our chat um, supports Shelly as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, she was just like, you guys go subscribe to her channel, blah, 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 blah. And I've never, ever been about um, the number of subscribers or this whole monetization thing. That it that was never part of my motivation, you guys. It, it just wasn't. And um, But she's trying to really help the smaller channels. And... Um, so I don't know, last week, last Sunday, I had 868 viewers. And I remember that because my neighbor subscribed. And he said, oh, I'm 869. So last week, I was at 869. And I couldn't tell you normally how many, oh, crap, I just dropped the paintbrush. Do you know how much cat hair is going to be on that now? OMG. Um, anyway. I've never been about the number of subscribers, if I'm ever going to make any money about it or anything like that, but um, <clears throat> I'm at like 936 subscribers now. Nobody knows where Monkey Island is. Actually, her mod last night lives in Fayetteville, and he knew exactly. We both got um, flash flood warnings on our phone at the same time, so I asked him, I was like, well, where are you at? He said, oh, I'm in Fayetteville, Arkansas. I was like, well, I'm just, like, not very far from you. I'm over at Monkey Island on Grand Lake. Yeah, I know exactly where you're at. So sometimes it is a pretty darn small world. But anyway, what I was saying was that really there are a lot of really supportive, good people out there. Um... And Shelly, I don't know if you'll watch this, but thank you. Thank you for your support. Thanks for the shout-out and all the love. Yeah, I felt very included over there. It was it was very, very nice. So, I did stay for the energy talk at the end of her stream, Lori, and I have to say I love that. I did. And Nana's Place, too. I have. I, does Nana Place do a, a live stream? I've gone over and watched her um, YouTube videos, but I didn't know if she live streamed. And believe me, this week has not been a normal week for me, being sick and blah, 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 whine, whine, whine. Yeah, starting a whining school. Do I want it this way or this way? I think I want it this way. Jeannie joined the whining school, as did Judy. Is Judy here? Somebody better go tell Judy to get her snotty butt, whining butt over here. But yeah, Lori, I did stay for that. And um, yeah, I enjoyed it. And you know, I mean, I don't think it's for everybody. Um, but I actually did really enjoy that. Um, it actually reminded me very much of my mother. My mother was very much that kind of person. Um, the energy talk was, um, uh, I don't know, it, it, it's, it's a meditation tool um, for, I guess, the, w the best way I can put it is like being one with the universe. Um, 
drawing positive energy to you. Um, and, and I know it wouldn't be for everybody, but I really, really enjoyed it. I have to say, I really enjoyed it. And Shelly is just so darn upbeat. What, I didn't get anything in the mail. Debbie, it didn't come today. Hopefully it will come Monday. Um, and I know it's probably sitting over at my post office because, yeah, I, I would bet money. Anyway, it was a good, good experience, and I, I enjoyed it very much, enjoyed the people. It was, it was fun. So I was going to go watch Netflix last night, but I ended up staying up way late, hanging out with the ladies at Shelly's, and I will do it again. It was that enjoyable. And in case you're wondering, the weather here today is absolutely awful. <laughs> and I'm a little pissed off about it, as is my brother. It's horrible. It's so rainy. It's flash flooding. It's, ah. Uh, it's like, come on, give us a break. We haven't seen the sun in, ugh. Hi, Judy, I just said, they need to go find you. So now you can talk about me right to my face, and I can talk right back at you. This cover's coming together pretty darn good so far. <laughs> we'll see how we continue. So far, I'm loving it. Loving it. Horridly poopy here, yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh... It just, it wears on you after a while, I think. You know, it's just like, oh, is this ever going to end? It's not bad enough that I haven't felt good, and now I have to put up with constant rain, too. But at least it's not freezing today, so I'm going to put a positive spin on it. And I hope I have some magical papers already made to put the circles on. I will go ahead and add the circles to this like I have the other ones. Because um, that's a place right there where I'll have to put one to kind of hide that larger than average space there. But that's okay. I don't mind. I need a long, thin one if I've got it. That one's not quite long enough. Ugh. And CB, CB was wanting me to stream. Where is she? CB, come in. If not, somebody tweet CB and tell her. Well, it, get over here. You having trouble with chat, Jeannie? I, thanks, Debbie. I, oh, okay, you are here. Hi, CB. Um, I like these colors too, Debbie. They're not colors I would normally jump up and down about, but yeah, I'm really liking these colors. And I'm going to have to start watching my pieces kind of carefully because I'm If I have another piece that big, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yep, that's the next few pieces. Thank God for scrubbies. The other day I thought I'd never get that matte medium off my hands. Oh. After it dries, it's almost like concrete. Oh, 
Hi, Scooby. Hi, anybody else? Hi, Imelda. Anybody else I'm missing as you're coming in? Kind of paying attention to what I'm doing here. I sure hope Paula's okay. I've been thinking about Paula being sick with the flu, and I haven't seen her around. So I hope she's okay. There's some gnarly crap going around right now, for sure. My neighbor has it. So we won't be going to breakfast with them in the morning. Oh, that piece just isn't quite big enough. You know what? It's okay. I'm going to put a circle across the spine, so it's fine. It'll work. Alright, I think a blue one, or if I've got a yellow one, a yellow one would be really nice right there. Cat hair. Ooh, this is a cool one. It's got to go right there. Yeah, that's got to go right there. And she's going to be texting me in a minute. Blow your nose! <laughs> she did that the other day when I was streaming. Blow your nose! Like, I know I'm sniffing. Hello? I hope that's right, CB. I hope it is slowing down because really, it it's brutal. That one's too long for there. Oh, that one would be a good one, but it's too short. So I need one in between those two. What the heck? Oh, maybe that one is good. That one would be okay. All right, and then I can put a skinny one in underneath. I'm going to trim a hair off this. Make it a little bit shorter. Not much. I wish you could see how absolutely rich these colors are. I'll hold it up here in a minute. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Now I need a real skinny long one. hope I have one of those. Well, actually... I want that one in there, right? Exact. That'll work. one of those pretty ones. Maybe that one is long enough. A little bit shorter. Maybe this one. Perfect.
when you've got all the pieces cut, this actually goes pretty darn quick. And the end result is so worth it. I want that one right there if it'll fit. Oh, baby, I love when a plan comes together. So I don't know, a lot of the people like from last night, I literally had people emailing me last night for the um, scavenger hunt list. Um, I'm honestly considering, well, I'm going to go ahead and, and give a prize for the March 1st deadline. This is it. This journal cover is it right here. Um, but since there's so many latecomers, I might go ahead and do a, a secondary um deadline so that you know more people can um, finish I mean they can finish regardless of whether or not there's a prize involved but I just got thinking you know it, I don't know I might do that I might cuz I'm pretty nice that way despite what Eileen says All right, that one's too long, but if I can find one more narrow than that, that would be good. That one's too skinny. As I get closer to the end with fewer pieces, it's going to be harder. Um, yeah, see, that one's not big enough. I'm getting smaller pieces, so eee, caca. There's my piece. Joan has an unexpected visitor. Oh, okay. Well, of course she has more important things to do. Duh. I'm getting some wonky lines down here, so I'm going to have to start squaring this up pretty quick or it's going to get totally unmanageable, methinks. I'd like another fairly good sized piece over here. Yeah, I think I will go ahead and do that because I've got to make that correction first. Does Joan live close to you, Dorothy? Because I know you guys um, yak a lot. I know you're both in England, obviously. But um, do you guys know each other other than being fibs together? I've kind of gotten the impression that maybe you did know each other. I mean, that one would be good if it was just... All right, hang on. I've got the width. I just need the length now. Oh, that one's... Got almost no color on it, but that would be kind of fun down there. All right, I'm going to cut it off. Uh, I need to make it a little more narrow, too. There's going to be a lot more cutting to fit, I promise you, as my pieces get fewer and fewer. There we go. Here. 
I may straighten this up. Nope, that's not long enough. That would definitely square it up. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. No, I think I'll just... Need it wider than that. Bear with me here. It's almost like one piece is too thick, next piece is too thin. That piece I want somewhere really prominent because it's awesome looking. That one's too close. Well, that's it's going to go there. We'll deal with the other problems later. Later, later. Hi, Kathy. Kathy, it was so much fun at your stream yesterday, seeing you face to face and seeing your new house and watching you tangle. It was just glad to have you back. And I can't imagine moving, so kudos to you, man. I I think about moving from here a lot. Like, I have to seriously get rid of some stuff soon. Like, really soon. Alright, that one. Okay, that one. What I need is a piece to go right in there. I'm going to make one because that's what I need to do. Too thick. Now it's just getting really fussy. Very, very fussy. Nope, I want that one somewhere over there. All right, got it. Found the piece. After I get this squared back up, I don't think it's going to be such a pain, but famous last words. I kind of have a row of all the same sorts of colors going on right in here, which I'm not real crazy about, but I guess it'll be okay. Yeah, moving forces you to get rid of stuff. Yeah, and I need to do it before that day comes. Just, you know, the thing about things... <laughs> You become a slave to them, you know? It's like, do I need all this junk in my life? Oh, you become a slave to it. I want a blue one in there. You do. You become a slave to this stuff. And I feel like that an awful lot. That so much of this stuff I thought I couldn't live without. I'm just a slave to it now. Dusting it, cleaning it, moving it. Yeah. I think it needs to find a new home. I'll keep my books and my art stuff, and that's it. I've never really been much of a knick-knack collector, but, um, you know, family members dying and stuff like that. You end up with stuff that, yeah, you know how it is. Okay, I've got a long line right there that I'm going to have to break up. You're too lazy to get rid of stuff? Yeah, well, 
Me too. It, it's easier to let it wait until the next time. And that probably is, you know, when I go through closets, go ahead and get rid of it. Like now. And that's the disadvantage of having a lot of space, is you tend to fill up the space that you have. At least that's what I've done. I'm sure I'm going to have enough pieces now, so that's a good thing. Oops. I thought I'd just straighten that. Apparently not. You don't have much time with this golden man. You got to get it down and move quick because, yeah, you don't have any time at all. I'd like another little bit longer piece for right there. Is that long enough? No. I don't have very many long pieces, though, so maybe I need to just start moving down to this corner. All right, I'm going to cut a square. That one is the exact right. Okay, that's how I'm going to do it. You need help physically. Your wing still just isn't 100%, is it, Judy? I, you know, I would love to get out of this house because I am tired of the stairs. I have two staircases, and I'm just over the stairs. Um, yeah, that's pretty much how I feel. All right, this is the piece that's going to go in there because I like the colors. Oops, I forgot to ink the edges. Whew. Glad I thought of it before it got down. That would have been hard. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I love that. No, the wing holds me back really bad. Yeah, that's that's a pain. What are the tiles made of? They are um, magical papers, Connie, that we've made. Oh, geez. <laughs> the last few months, really, um, we've made them. I want that piece down in here, I think. This is a pretty piece that I need, think needs to go right there. And we'll work around the problems that it creates later. Um, Eileen, I think we're all in that same boat. We just have too much stuff. And, and like clothes. I wear the same clothes over and over and over. I like the clothes I like. But then I keep clothes... Honestly, I have a suit that I bought back when I worked, okay? I haven't worked in more than 20 years. But it's a camo hair suit, and it's gorgeous, and I remember what I paid for it. So it's like, I don't want to just give that away. I mean, it's like a $700 suit, $700, $800 suit. I don't want to give that away. And I always think, well, I'll someday wear it. I'll go to a funeral or something, and I'll have a occasion to wear it. Who am I kidding? I mean, honestly, who am I kidding? That's probably not going to happen. All right, we got a plan. We got a plan. So that's, you know, the stupid stuff I do is I keep clothes thinking I'm going to wear them someday. If I haven't worn them in a year, honestly, am I going to put the, them on my body? No, I'm not. 
Okay, that's what the tiles are then, Connie. I thought you were the one that asked. Oh, move. Dang it, move. Straighten up, straighten up. All right. And Robert's clothes. Oh my god. I don't even want to think about it. Thank you, Cheryl. Hi, by the way. It is this one is very pretty. I have to say, I'm I'm glad that it's turning out so well since it is a giveaway. I mean that makes me feel really, really good that I know somebody's gonna get something really pretty worth having maybe and I haven't decided what I'm gonna put inside of it yet um, I know I'm not going I'm gonna do an elastic binding I do know that but I haven't decided if I'm gonna sew it or not and I'm thinking I'm not going to sew it I think I'll do the elastic binding much like I did my scavenger hunt book where you can take the papers out and art on them and then put them back and then if you wanna bind your artwork and continue to use the um, journal cover again and again I, I think I'm gonna do it that way I think that would be better see I've created a real problem for myself right there but we'll deal with that down the road down the road being 10 seconds from now because <laughs> we're almost there I mean I'm almost done with this now go blow your nose okay and I will I think I have a Kleenex right here hang on just a second Okay, thank you, Ange. I do feel better, I have to say. Um, I'm not going to get buried, Teresa. They're going to cremate my rotten butt and um, throw me in the lake with my husband. Pull it up. We can't see the bottom. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I'm getting cremated. Um, and I don't want anybody to see my... Um, gnarly body after it's dead so that's pretty much my plan alright needs to be a little bit wider than that um, this is the piece that's gonna go there I'm gonna move I'm gonna guess I'm gonna start moving and I've got I can't move up too far Eileen right now cuz I've got a pile of stuff right there so give me just a second to get this squared away I'm so glad Ange is watching out for me. Go blow your nose. <laughs> You're funny, Ange. All right, let me clean up this map medium um, so I can move everything up. Or I guess I could move the camera down. Okay, oops, crooked is all get out. Oh, that's not going to work at all. Sorry. How's that? Better? Better. Still crooked. What the heck? Oh no, that's fine. Eyeball goofiness. Alright, now. Do I have a little square one? Because I'm going to put it down here to try and solve my issues. my issues are far too great to be solved by this but that's what's gonna happen and then if I have to use a, a circle over it I will but that's what's gonna happen there 
it does look like stained glass. Yes, it does. But I, I'm going to hold it up so you guys can see the colors because it's. I mean, I liked it when we did this, but now that it's all cut up and working like this, it's just like, oh, this is so pretty. I do love the Magicals. I give Eileen a mountain of crap about it, and I don't like the mess of the Magicals, but oh my gosh, some of the results are mind-boggling pretty. So if you've not got the Magicals and you want to do something really fun and make something unexpected that takes zero talent at all, the Magicals are so much fun. <laughs> okay, ignore me. <laughs> she is on a roll today, isn't she? Woo, baby! She's pissed off because her present didn't get here. But Eileen, you're not alone. I'm pissed off too. <laughs> I green. <laughs> I move it all up, but I've got a pile of... um matte medium up there that I don't want the inside to um, be smushed in. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? I'm going to use the light one here. No, I'm not. I'm going to use a bigger one there. <laughs> Is that going to work? Yeah, I'm going to have to do it that way. I'm just glad I have ample number of pieces to work with now. That one journal cover where I started running out of pieces, that was scary. Like, oh crap, what do I do now? Because it's not like you can turn around and make more, you know? Like, you get one shot at this. Look at the back because I've stuck it in the medium. Actually, Eileen, I've got a um, plan for the back. So if there is a little bit of medium back there, I'm not so much worried about it. Because I'll show you in just a minute the plan for the inside of this journal. I've already got a plan, man. You think I just do this blindly, Eileen, that I just come here without a plan. <laughs> Which is actually pretty true. Um, but somehow we dumb it all together, right? Yeah, baby, we do. Perfecto right there. You gotta love that. There comes a point when you've messed with this matte medium so long, your fingers are no longer useful. They got so much glue on them. All right. This actually is coming together better than I thought it might. Sweet. All right. Now, I just have to decide what are really pretty pieces and use up the really, really pretty ones. This one's pretty. That one's pretty. This one's awesome looking. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. This one is awesome too. Alright, I'm going to put the big one at the bottom. That one there. And one with a lot of blue in there. There we go. We've got the cover. Dun, 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 dun. I've worked myself into a pretty small little space here now. Is that going to work? Okay, I'm going to do it that way. Makes more sense. I'm just sitting here talking to myself. 
I should get Joyce to make Janet a Dracula puncher. <laughs> Eileen, I swear to God, I will come to Boca and kick your ass. <laughs> that was hysterical, though. I have to say, that was hysterical that day. Oh, that piece is really... It's got more yellow in it. Yep, that's the piece. Sorry, changed my mind. Oops. <clears throat> that was hysterical. Dracula plunger. And I, I'd, I'd come into... this is We're talking about Joycey. I'd come into Joycey's stream late. And you don't want to come into Joycey's stream late. Like, you've got to be there from the beginning to even begin to appreciate what the girl is on to. And sometimes, even when you're on time, you don't know. But it, she's thoroughly enjoyable. Um, and I don't know how that whole Dracula plunger thing came up, but it was hysterical. All right, that's the one I'm going to cut to fit last. Oh, this one could be a little bit. All right, never mind. We're switching out. Yeah, this little bit bigger piece, I think, is better. Dracula Plunger. <laughs> I'm not even going to try and explain. Dracula plunger. <laughs> You'll have to go over to the frugal eclectic and learn about that. All right. I actually have pieces left over, which I find hard to believe. I really thought I was going to be cutting it close. Those little spaces in between the pieces um, use up m far more space than you would think. How's that for a plan, boys and girls? I don't think with this golden either, I mean, I'll make the determination later, but I don't think I'm going to have to put a second coat of matte medium on. And when I use the Liquitex, I always felt like I had to put a second coat on top um, of it. Um, so in that respect, you pay more, but if I use less... Um, yeah, I, that to me is worth it because I really, um, I don't see the brush strokes. Well, a little bit, but not enough where I feel like, oh, God, I've got to do something about that. Um, so that makes me happy. I'm going to go look for the Tim Holtz magical papers that we've already got made. I'm almost certain that I don't have one that is going to work well on this, so I might have to make some more. Um, you love your journal, Ange? Well, you're in the running, Ange. Honestly, you could end up um, winning this bad boy because you are in the running, and I don't have a lot of names in the running yet. I really don't. I mean, I'm thinking this week, you know, because most people are like me, they wait until the last minute and then scramble like crazy to get it done. But I don't have but a hand, handful of people, um, really, that are in the running for this. So, thanks, Imelda. Let me go get the Tim Holtz papers and see. Um, and I'll get the circle cut cutter while I'm in there. Because I do want the circles on there.
man, I had actually forgotten about this Tim Holtz paper. But this is sprays. This is not the Magicals. I'd forgotten about this one that we had just made. It's kind of a bronzy brown. It's really pretty. You're going to get busy. Get busy. You've only got, what, we're at the 24th, and there's 28 days in February. So, what, you've got like four or five days? And I will not take, I mean, like March 1st, I will let um, let people email me up until March 1st. And then after that, boom, you're out of here. Um, I don't know what we use these for, but those are really pretty. Um, this might work to pull the blue and the green out of. We're not putting purple on it, that's for damn certain. I don't think I want green circles on that. No, nope, I don't. And then this is the brown with the dark blue that I, this is my favorite piece ever. Yeah, we're not doing the green. We're definitely not doing pink. So those are definitely out of the running. Um, so I'll take these off and let you guys see. Um, This one does have some navy blue spots here and there, so I think this one could work, but I think it's, I don't like, I don't think this one's a good candidate for this piece of art. This one, I think, is a very good candidate, because it's got the green and the blue in it. So, Eileen, pay attention. I need some input here. You got your pen going, now what? <laughs> You have 15 left to finish. That's close. The brown or the gold and copper. That's what I'm thinking too. This gold copper one is, it, it really works well with the edging on the, these are almost identical. It's just one's the music paper and one's the postage paper. Um, what do you think? It's too blue. You think this is too blue? The whole thing is just too blue? But keep in mind, okay, I'll cut out some of the smaller circles, and maybe when they're not so big, um, um, I'll move this aside, let it keep drying, and we'll cut out some circles. Um, either one of these is excellent so this one's already been cut on let's go with this this one's got a little bit of yellow and blue in the background I have no clue what we were doing when we did this what do you, what do you do with that um you like the first one the best okay um <coughs> hang on just a second you'll see Connie um you will see you will see I don't remember what size circles these made, so we're just going to jump right in and make some circles. I'll cut different sizes so we... Yeah, the gold copper is... This is kind of cool looking. I have. I will admit that. Were we using Lindy sprays that day, Eileen? Because I don't remember. <laughs> I really don't. I have no clue what we were doing that day. But I know we made some cool looking things here. I like the small circles. Alright, let's put that on there and see what we think. They're sparkly. And this, this has no sparkle at all to it, okay? Um... So let's see if I have anything. The front I did so well. I mean, I hate to say that, but I did it so well that there's really no mistakes or anything that I need to cover up. So at that point, it's just, you know, like putting the circles wherever. Um, wherever they're going to look best, I guess. I don't, those look really good. Yes, we were. Okay. 
Well, we, I say we because you tell me what to do and I do it. <laughs> Put everyone's name in a bowl. Yes, that's exactly how I'm going to do it, Lori. I will, um, put everybody who has emailed me's name into a hat, a bowl, of whatever. Hi, um, Joan. The first one. Oh, this one. And then I will randomly um, probably choose out of another bowl um, a number one through seventy and the person that's name is drawn will be required to send me a photo of that prompt out of their book um, it's I mean I'm doing this pretty much on the honor system but that's the way I'm gonna check that in fact yes um, the requirement that you you know you're just gonna have to prove to me that you did do the one item that I pick and, and submit a picture for it. And then if you do that, then you win. That's it. You are the winner. Um, I don't think the navy blue... Uh, let's do one and just see. So that's how it's going to happen. And I will, um, I will do it live on stream so everybody gets to see it happen. Um, that's kind of my plan. Okay, here they are. The, it's almost like they don't work for me, Eileen. I don't know. Now this side, I did have a couple things. I wanted to cover that up up there, I think. Actually, I don't have too many boo-boos to have to, to cover up. I'm going to put one there that will cover the spine. And I try and do them where they overlap, and then I try and do like um, at least three on each side. These girls are a bit sketchy. You got it, Lori. Um, you should have my email address. So, so what do you think? You um, actually, this doesn't look bad. Um, the glittery bronze one. Now keep in mind, when I put this down with the golden matte medium, I think that I'm going to lose that glit the glitter. But that's kind of how it works out. Is I um, You'd like the blue and green paper? You like the other ones? The blue and the green? Well, let's cut a couple out of the blue and green paper and see. Um, for just the overall feel of the journal cover. Um, <coughs> this one may work out pretty good. Plus, another thing I could do um, is now that it's all put together, I could go ahead and throw some splatters on it. Um, I could add more to it now that it's all put down together. So, um, yeah, if you think splatters would work on it, that would horrify Jean, but it wouldn't. I don't mind a good splatter. These just add an extra dimension, another layer of interest is really all they do. Break up the monotony of all the squares is all this is about. The magicals on the Tim Holtz paper are awesome. I will say that. All right, let's throw these down and see how they look. All right, here's the cover with the brown and coppery kind of. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of going for the darker ones, but um, I think it, they break up the yellow, blue, green kind of whatever's going on. Oh, good, Merle. I just, oh, you idiot. You, I just put the cutter down in the pile of matte medium that's left over here. Why didn't I clean that up? 
dope. All right. They don't look too bad either. So I think any of them. Um, Z posted some happy pictures. Yeah, I saw some in a little while a little while ago. Hi, Dee Dee. Um, if you need my email, um, you know where to find me on Twitter, so that's no big deal. Just go ahead and send me a private message. Um, I don't know, you guys. I'm kind of leaning. Any of them would work. It is kind of my feeling. But I kind of like bringing out the, the brown. I'm kind of going for this glittery one, which kind of boggles my mind. Well, and there's no law that says I couldn't use some of each, too. I mean, that's the truth. They don't have to all be matchy-matchy, right? Don't need matchy-matchy in my world. Maybe that would be different, because I haven't done that. In the past, I mean, I could use the glittery with the brown and the blue. Um, what do you think about that? Mixing and matching. There you go, Debbie. Mind meld. Dude, we think alike. Cheryl, too. Put some of each on there. I, I think, um, yeah. I, I'm thinking I like that. Some of each. Some of each. And I'm going to break up this huge monster one up here with that pretty sure about that and I like when there's two together um, I mean I don't mind one alone but I kinda like two together too so you like that okay cool we have a plan I love when people agree and I don't have to referee the chat cuz my mod <laughs> I depend on her and she's the one who starts the trouble all right, we're going with it. We are going with it. Yeah, baby. No, Connie, that is only true at Dee Dee's streams, where she's the boss of her color books, or she's the boss of her whatevers. At mine, I'm never the boss. Yeah, I like the double in the colors. I do too, Jeannie. So that's what we're going with. Yeah, no. Eileen is definitely my boss, and I'm not going to kid anybody about that. It is what it is. It's set up that way and we go with it. I need a new blue sheet. <coughs> Sorry. I know I sound a lot worse than I am. I, I really do feel good today. Genie, 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 genie. Be a good sport about the auction. There were a couple times where it got really fun, where multiple people wanted the same art. It was pretty much fun. And I try and mush these down into the cracks. Um, so... I might even encourage them with my little thing here. I get, hate getting matte medium on it, but oh well. I suppose it's like anything else. It'll clean up. I might have to use my craft scrubby on it. We'll tell you, I'll tell you whether or not the shimmery goes away with the matte medium. It's still a beautiful color. I, I might have to go back and watch that um, video if it uploaded. Because that coppery bronze color, man, is that pretty.
definitely gives it more dimension texture. Hi, Fiona. Hey, any idea what time you're streaming tomorrow? Because I was telling Didi yesterday, and I'll email, I mean, I'll tweet her anyway when I know you're on, but um, I didn't even have a good guess. I know it's usually in the morning, my morning, your evening. But I'm so excited for little Hopi to do that. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go ahead and do that while it's closed, or cut it off. Um, the fold is gonna create a problem right there, so I've got to give it some relief. I'm gonna cut it off. In fact, I don't want to create that problem on the spine, being that I'm going to use the spine um, as the binding so yeah I've got to get that off where did I put my scissors there we go and do you guys understand why I didn't want that going over the spine like that the fold is would definitely jack with it, so um, yeah, I try not to create problems down the road if I can help it. Um, stream the box or her face. Um, I want to see her face. <laughs> And I get to make the decisions around here. <laughs> I don't know. Go ahead and show her face. Um, you know, the box is just the box. It's just got stuff piled in it. Um, I'd rather see her precious little face. That's just me. Take a poll. See what these other crazy ladies think. But that's just me. I want to see her little face when she's smiling and happy. Because I know she will be smiling and happy. She's too sweet not to be that way. So, yeah, I think her face. What do you guys think? Face? And make sure her little sister's there, too. Because they are some kind of precious. I will edge these um, with a um, chalk pastel here in just a minute. So the, the circles will have a dark edge around them too. Okay, so I've got three on that. And I'm doing the whole uneven number thing. Now over here, I did have a problem I needed to cover up. So where is it? That was one of them. I guess if I can't see it, it's not that big a problem, right? I'm going to put one right there because I don't have my spacing exact right there. So we'll put a medium size one there. So the circles add interest, but they also enable me to cover up some things that maybe aren't precise. And most people wouldn't care, but I do. Um, it's a burnishing tool. Um, many, many years ago, Dee Dee knows about it, and anybody who was dealing... <laughs> with press type or anything like that 20 years ago um, 
had one of these. It's called a burnishing tool. I think they still sell them. I, I'm not sure why you would buy one. Um, I just use it um, as a bone folder. I mean, I have a bone folder or for something like this. But it's a burnisher. Nobody needs one because it was designed to be used with press type. Um, and in this day and age, there's no need for press type because you have computers and fonts coming out your ears. Um, bye, Carol. Have a great afternoon. Um, yeah, 20 years ago. It was longer ago than that, Dee Dee. It was way longer than 20 years. For real, it was. Alright, that one is the, that boring piece that I put in there. I think I'm going to go ahead and um, put this in here. Because I like when they overlap a little bit. Um, yeah, no, I was using press type in 1981. So, um, a lot in 1981. Because that was when I worked at KN. No. It was before that I worked at KN. <laughs> oh, God, now it just, it's getting worse. No, that had to be about right. 1980, 1981, somewhere around in there. And if you haven't, if you don't know what press type is, um, say so in next stream. I'll get some out and show you. I still have some. Letraset, um, yeah. I love playing with press type. I will say that. All right. So let's see. We've got one, two, three. I don't know if I want to break up all this busyness down here. Um. Just getting a, getting a feel for this, getting a feel. Maybe I should go down like that um, and break up some of this real, real busyness down here. And then I'll have to put something up there to balance it out, but that's what I'm doing. And I'll tell you when it dries whether or not that shimmer um, remains. I think the matte medium is going to obliterate it. That's okay. It's all good. It's all good. You also use them for embossing thin metal. I, well, I would use a different tool for embossing thin metal. Um, this is spring-loaded. Um, if I was going to emboss thin metal, I would use... Um, I would use one that did not have the, the spring in it. But um, much like you use for embossing the, the metal <clears throat> stencils, that's what I would use for that. Actually, I wouldn't use any of it. I'd give it to Robert and say, would you go do that for me? <laughs> That's what I'd do. All right. I'm going to put one more, even though that's an odd number. That's an odd number, but I feel like I want something more up there. Yeah, I do. I'm going to put two small ones up there. Screw that odd number crazy thing going on. I'm going to put the green down first. side. 
more out in the center. I try not to put things out in the center, you know. All right, CB, tell me if I'm getting carried away now. <laughs> CB is my carried away meter. Stop! Enough! Okay. Looking at the screen, I'm liking this. Yeah, it is spring loaded. You don't want a spring loaded one. Z just IG a picture in her and Diane. Oh, cool. I think Diane was telling her to be quiet. <laughs> Thanks, CB. <coughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny, Dee Dee. <clears throat> All right, my um, my carried away meter said that's just enough. Um, I kind of feel like I want one more on this side, but can I do one more on this side, CB? <laughs> All right, we'll let that dry. Now on the inside, um, I'm going to, um, the same day, I think, no, it was a whole different, well, now I don't remember, honestly. Um, but in the past, I've always tried to put a, um, something matching on the inside and the other day um, when we were playing Smack and Dragon with the um, FW inks um, we made this paper and it the only thing it has to do with this is that it's in the same color families but I think I'm gonna make two panels for the inside um, and use this for the inside of the covers. So, here, I'll go ahead and fold it because I'm going to have to cut it anyway. Um, crooked paper. Yay. Um, so, I'll just, I'll put it in here and show you what it's going to end up looking like and then you guys can say yay or nay because I'm not married to this, but I just thought it would be pretty, okay? I don't know what color elastic I'm going to use either. Probably black. Um, the black elastic I have is the most substantial. So, um, yeah, let me pull the camera up just a hair more so you can kind of see the whole thing. And then when you open it up, um, this will be the inside. And then, of course, I'll have um, some kind of paper. I haven't um, decided exactly what kind of paper I'm going to put in there, but I'm going to put some nice paper. Smack and Dragon is where you put a product, whatever it is, whether it's the FW inks, whether it's sprays, whether it's magicals, and you get a piece of paper. And um, I'm not a good one to show this because I'm Smack and Dragon challenged, but say there's all the product down here on the mat, you put your paper in it and smack and drag and that's how you get kind of the movement of the product on the paper and when Dee, Dee does it it's really awesome um, but when I do it I'm a little bit challenged and mine come out like smack and pat or smack and hot mass and smack do something that you're more proficient at because you really suck at this or just go smack yourself and give it up, girl. <laughs> yeah. That's Smack and Dragon. Yeah, Smack and Dragon. That's what I said. <laughs> <coughs> so, yeah. I do Smack and move on to something else because you, you can't do that, DA. So I'm thinking that's the inside cover. Do you like that? I do like this um, FW Ink Smack and Dragon. It's very pretty. And it is the same colors as we've got out here, even though it's a different product. I am going to put one more circle on here. I'm going to put a big one right down here. 
I know, I know. That's why in this world you never compare yourself to Didi because she's got it going on and you've got a lot to learn. <laughs> there you go. You like the inside? Okay, that's where it's going. <coughs> now, thinking, um, I can either reinforce this with some lightweight cardboard um, or chipboard, um, say um, food packaging weight. Because I don't want the cover real, real heavy. I want it to give a little bit. So I can either use these and cut them out and put them on panels. But I would definitely have to clean up the edge of this. Because I've got matte medium all over the inside of this. So I've got to cover up my mess, first of all. Um, I'm just trying to decide how I want to do this. If I want to make panels, I kind of think I do. Um, yeah, I think I do. So, you want me to do Smack and Dragon so you guys can laugh? Okay. I'll get out the FW inks and do a Smack and Dragon. I don't mind being the butt of your jokes, Eileen. <laughs> because I don't have near as big enough mess yet but I definitely need to do this all right let's get out some pretty colors we'll do yellow blue and green because they're always a good combination together right so I'm gonna do the yellow and the green and um, let's see I really like that Prussian blue. Okay, we'll do, yeah, those are good colors together. Or you know what? We could use the process colors um, because they will mix together to make really pretty colors. So let's see. I've got process. Okay, change my mind. Let's just see what happens when we use the process colors. Because we can do that. We be the boss. And where's the process I am? I, I did get the process I am, didn't I? I could have sworn. Could have sworn. Hang on, hang on, hang on. When you have thousands, it takes a minute to find what you're looking for. There's process I am. Okay. Those are the three colors mixed together will make every other color, the process colors. And I'm going to use a more absorbent paper, so I'll use the 68-pound Bristol. One, because if it doesn't work out good, I don't mind throwing it away. <laughs> I told you how to, I do have a mess in here. Yeah, I'm going to use the process. Yeah, I'm going to spritz them with water. Um, I'm going to get a place over here already prepared for, um, ooh, I don't have any, oh, I have other stuff I can use. You see, I don't have any newspapers. I threw all of them away yesterday, but here, I've got this paper. Let me see. Because really, when you start doing Smack and Dragon, you're going to have a mess on your hands, just like with Magicals. Prepare. You're going to. You need to buy a new computer, new desk, new everything. And if your phone's nearby, you'll have to buy a new phone, too. <laughs> I'll move my phone. All right, so we've got the process colors. We've got our spritzing bottle right here. Another thing that would be fun is to put all the colors out and then sprinkle magicals in them. Whatever, Eileen. I'm I'm not so totally inept. And there's still matte medium down on my mat, so I don't know how that's going to work. Um, 
here's all the leftovers from the project we just finished. We have no need for those anymore, so they're going in the trash. Now, I know some people would keep these. Some people are not me. <laughs> bye bye <laughs> Okay, I don't want my circle cutters to get all trashed out. Thank you for my cutters, Dee Dee. All right. Cleaning this mess up. Here we go. All right, these you have to shake because the pigment will settle to the bottom. So I did put little lead um, pellets in the bottom line to help me shake them up. And you can kind of see on the bottom when they start um, shaking good. If you put a pellet or a BB in there, um, Just be careful because it's a glass stopper or dropper, right? Mandy Goobler needs to go. What the heck? I don't even know Mandy. Am I supposed to know Mandy? <laughs> the two minutes ad gal. Oh. All right. That's pretty mixed up. You can tell by the bottom. I'm getting air bubbles, so that means everything's really good mixed up in there. I need to call the rat and get him up here to shake these for me. Two at a time, shaking. Alright, the yellow is easier. I've already got air bubbles on that one. And one thing about having these FW inks, I don't know if anybody else feels like this, but um, like doing something like this, because I got them so cheap, I don't mind wasting the product because I feel like, um, I didn't pay anything for them. So, all right, here we go. We're just going to put yellow down here and there, right? There's the yellow. Here's the red. Who knows what we're going to get. This one... Okay. Oops, that's a lot of red right there. Dee Dee's rolling her eyes. I hope she's rolling her eyes about something other than what I'm, I got going on here. That's a lot, a lot of ink that I've got out there, okay, you guys? That's a lot. Um, all right, I'm going to spray it. Let it run a little bit. <laughs> OMG. Alright. This is the way I do it. This is not necessarily the way Dee Dee does it, okay? You get your paper ready. Oh, I almost dropped it. You drop your paper and then you drag it. Oh, that's pretty. But see, like you get greens and see the purples, and that's because of the processed colors. If you use the other colors, it wouldn't be so pretty. Now, this is what I would do. Um, nobody else would do that. <laughs> Not real. Oh, okay. More water. Okay, we'll get another sheet of paper out. The half of that is really pretty. See, I'm smack and drag and challenged. All right, we're going to do it again. We'll get more paper out. You can see where the matte medium is, right? God, this table needs a good cleaning. <coughs> All right, here we go. I guess since we've got this out now, I better get out more than one sheet of paper, huh? <laughs> I'm learning, Dee Dee. I'm learning. Now, wait until Eileen comes on. She, ah, you, that was awful. I wonder if I put water down first. Let's try that. What the heck? Yeah, I think I like water down first. All right, now we're going to use the yellow. 
No rhyme or reason for what I'm doing here. It's just going wherever it goes. I don't care. And I won't put it back in the second time, okay? <laughs> and Eileen's in chat going, I gave up. I just gave up. Just gave up on her. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to give it another spritz of water. Get it running a little bit. It's a lake on my table right now. Ready, set. Smack and dragon. How's that? Needed more red. Okay, I'm not going to put that piece of paper back in because I'll just get the mud. Hmm. <laughs> and I need to definitely get that piece of paper out of here. Jeez. Alright. I use this as my cleanup. See, this is the way I like to do Smack and Dragon. Put it down, pat it, and then turn it over. That's the way I like to do Smack and Dragon. But that's not the way you do it. Then clean up your mess. They are circus colors, huh? They're not mixing, is the deal. Try to also lightly mist your paper. Okay, we can do that. Do we, let's do a different color combination because we're just going to keep getting circus colors if we don't. So now we'll do the yellow, green, blue because I like that dark green. I love this dark green. And I like the darker yellow. Alright, we're doing my original color. Is that depression blue? Okay. Those, these, this is my original color combination that I wanted to do. All right. So this is the way the second one came out. So I'm smack and dragon challenged, you guys. I really am. And I don't mind admitting it. This is called smack and make paint lines. I don't know what else. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, Eileen. You're in the other room and I'm cracking you up. I don't know. Probably on this one, maybe. Um, maybe I'll put magicals on it before I'm done. All right. I'm just shaking this stuff up. I swear, when Janet puts the paper down, she thinks you have to mash the paint on the paper. Well, what are you supposed to do? I mean, I thought the whole, that was the whole idea, Eileen. Get the paint on the paper. Isn't that what we're doing here? Hello? Tell her not to put her hand on it. Okay, so I'm not supposed to put my hand on it. I'm just supposed to drag it. Okay, we'll do that. <sighs> it's so hard. Being low man on the totem pole. <laughs> I give me. All right, this is a whole different kind of yellow. Don't mash, just drag. Okay. Don't mash, just drag. I'm not going to mash, I'm going to drag. Why is she does? I don't want to hurt the paint. Touch it lightly. Now mash it into the desk. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ha! Ah, whole team of experts in my chat over here. All right, and this time I will do what Deb suggested. I've got red on this side, so we're going to use this side. We're, I'm going to miss the paper, right? 
All right, now I'm not going to smush it. I'm just going to put it down and drag it. That's what I'm going to do this time. Now I've got a curl in the paper. That was stupid. I'm going to. All right, Angel says, oh, now I've got wiggle and drag. <laughs> like smack and drag wasn't enough. Now i got to do wiggle and drag. All right, here we go. Drop it, drag it. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Now, I need to set this down so it doesn't start running all over the place. That's pretty. But it probably was my choice of colors. Hello. All right. Uh, all right. I'm going to go ahead and sop up this. A little wiggle is okay. All right. A little wiggle is okay. I, don't, I think actually wetting the paper may have helped a little bit. Okay. Here. Drop it. A little wiggle is okay. And drag. That's not bad. Drop a little wiggle. <laughs> don't touch. Don't touch. Oh, my God. I touched. Yeah, this is just turning into a big, fat, freaking mess now. There you go. That's the smack and tap. <laughs> well, ha okay. I guess I need to do the smack and wiggle. All right, here, this one's going in the trash. Um, <laughs> ew, this is cracking me up. I like the colors, too. Another line one. Eileen didn't like it. So now we're, we're going to do the smack and wiggle, the smack and drag and wiggle, smack and wiggle drag. Um so that we don't end up with lines because the lines are very offensive to Eileen. <coughs> I'm grabbing more paper is what I'm doing. All right, got more paper. Now we're going to do the, oops, the smack and wiggle dragon. Call this the need to pen stream. We're doing this smack and wiggle dragon right now. That's what's coming up. <coughs> it's bound to be a hit with all the teens in your neighborhood. I like the blue, yellow, green. I'll, I'll hold them back up here in a minute. And when they dry, I mean, these colors are really vibrant um, early on. And then after they dry, they really do mellow out. Like, you'll be surprised at the circus color ones. Um, how muted those colors. Wiggle the whole time you drag. <laughs> Janet is in drag. <coughs> With my voice, I could be, Dee Dee. <laughs> oh, come on. All right, smack and wiggle drag. Smack and wiggle drag. I can do that. I can do that. It's probably why my mother never enrolled me in dance class. Well, why waste my money on that? <clears throat> All right, here we go. I am. I. I do think having the paper a little bit moist um, worked well. So we're doing it that way. All right. Smack, wiggle, drag. All right, ready. I'm scared. Smack, wiggle, drag. It still came out in lines, Eileen. But I have two pieces of paper that match now. <laughs> more water, more water. Okay, more water. All right, let me grab a piece of paper out of here. I haven't taken any cold medicine today. I don't need it. This is me on a normal day. <laughs> Woo. You can send gifts to the... Okay, now see, the way these colors are down there now, um, I think the smack and pat is a good idea. And then drag. 
Sí. <laughs> Poor Eileen. <laughs> All right. Need another baby wipe. I'm going to be up to my elbows in this stuff here in a minute. Wiggle the whole time as you are dragging it. Okay. If lift straight, no drag, wiggle maybe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now that is a pretty, pretty baby wipe. If I was Joyce, I'd save it. Can't do that either. Sorry. All right. Here we go. I do like the blue, yellow, green. Thinking, thinking, okay, I'm going to show you this one because it's dried off a little bit. See how the colors really mute? So this one I probably could do some magicals on it. Okay, here's the first one that I did that I shouldn't have put it back in. I, I'll admit that, Eileen. I really shouldn't have. This down here, I like. I don't like that, but I like everything else. But I don't like that. Live and learn. Right? Yeah. We're going to do one more. Dee Dee's saying more water. So, all right. More water, more water. Do the hokey pokey and turn yourself around. <laughs> the wiggle dragon. <laughs> the wiggle dragon got smacked. <clears throat> All right. <coughs> oh my gosh. Diddy is full of jokes today, isn't she? There might be a reason for that, but I won't speculate. <laughs> All right, here we go. We've got yellow, green. We've got some blue we're going to put on here. All right, now, I, I'm scared already. I haven't done anything, and I'm scared. We will. Moist. Okay, I'm going to spray this because Dee Dee says more water. So we are going to like get some serious bad boy water going down there. Now we're going to spray our paper because we need more water. <laughs> That's what we've been told. Just say no to drugs. Yeah, no lie. I haven't taken um, any meds today at all. I haven't needed them. I mean, I really I felt good. All right, here we go. We're going to do the smack wiggle drag technique on Monkey Island. Smack wiggle, keep wiggling drag. Oh, now that's better, isn't it? Eileen, is this what you're talking about? That's the smack wiggle drag. Keep wiggling. Shake that booty! More water. Yay. Yeah, no, this is more what I think Eileen had in mind. And this is not bad. It's really not. Now, when this dries, I think if we put some of the um, black, that black kind of magical stuff, baby. Oh, my God. Two minute eggs. Now I'm going, yeah, I'm just going to suck this up. It's going to be ugly. It's going to be olive green, I'm telling you, but we'll do, oh, I'll get this paper wet too. Smack, wiggle, drag. This one's going to be, oh, that's just lime green. That's all right. We'll use the ink up. Who cares? I'm getting close. You think I'm getting close? I'm just sopping up the ink here. It's nice and green. And it's all about money in the background. So that's... 
important, and I probably ought to save this and send it to Eileen. Here's your green money. Next time I owe her $25, that's what she's going to get. Jean said to let you all know that she is in and waiting to have her infected toes seen to she says. Oh no, poor Jean. Oh man. Oh Jean, take care of yourself. Okay, I'm going to move my papers around over here. I'm getting too many of these crazy things for drying. Know what I mean, jelly bean? I don't know. I like the striped ones, Eileen. Say what you want, but they actually have the best color, in my humble opinion. I am going to save this green one and turn it into a card background or something for Eileen. Alright, now you guys have seen that I am seriously smack and dragon challenge. Okay? Do I have to do more to prove to you exactly how smack and dragon challenged I really am? Or did that convince you? I figure, you know, I have spray inks. So if I want that kind of background, I just get the sprays out. I am beyond help with the smack and dragon. Thank you, Monique. Thank you very much. Now, I'm pretty good at magicals. But I wasn't going to get that mess out today. We're going to do the back of that journal cover. That's what my computer um, keyboard looked like the other day. Um, I cleaned it. And who knows when the last time um, I cleaned it was. But I went over my entire keyboard, and that's what my rag looked like. <laughs> it was green. I'm definitely challenged, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. I know. I hope they get Jean squared away, too. I see I can do the magicals. I'm just not good with the smack and dragon. This one is really pretty. I don't care what Eileen says. I like the lines. This one is really pretty. Now I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. Um other than maybe put some magicals on it. But yeah, this one I actually do like. Handprint. Here's the circus print. It's almost dry now. Yeah, I'm not. I'm smacking dragon challenged. I I don't know. I don't. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Let's see what we got going on over here. Oops. Brought the money page. Got to lay it out and let it dry. That was just a clean up. That was a clean up. I'll go get the other one. The last two were probably my best. So maybe I just need more practice. You think? But even this one, and maybe it's the kind of paper. I don't know. But see how that one just kind of all smushed together? I don't think that's pretty. I like this one better. How this one all just smushed together a little bit. And that's still wet. The rest of it has all been absorbed. Maybe it is. That rag proves you listen to Eileen too much. <laughs> But this is the last one, other than the green money one. So now I just have a green piece of paper. Okay. I still got to let that one dry. These are dry enough. Um, if I wanted to do something now with them, I could. That one is just... Half of it's good.
ugly. All right. Which rag are you to? Oh, you mean this one? Yeah, that everything is green. I agree, CB. I agree. All right, I'm going to get some of this crud off my hands. Okay. Um, I think I'll go back to doing something I feel more confident <laughs> about. <laughs> now I have more papers that I have to figure out what to do with. <coughs> <coughs> We've got flooding over here, and I saw that picture and um, posted. Man, that's a lot of water in Louisville, Kentucky. But we've got a lot here, too. The lake is coming up really, really fast. Um, so that means people downstream will be flooding for sure. I'm too high to flood. Water would go over the dam before it ever got to my house. I'm probably... Mm, I don't know, a lot of feet above um, the dam. The green rag, yeah. Okay, got some of that cleaned up. I think I will go ahead and measure and cut me some. <coughs> How did I do my scavenger hunt one? Because that actually is very durable. Hmm. Okay, that one I must have used um, like a cereal box weight. Yeah, that's exactly how I did it. All right, I think I'm going to do that again. That, it'll make it real durable. And I think I have a cereal box that I saved. Let me see. <clears throat> All right, we got us some lightweight chipboard and that's all we need. And because the um, cover itself is just half of an eight and a half or yeah half of an eight and a half by eleven it's eleven inches this way eight and a half this way um, I'm gonna cut the inside well hmm just wondering just thinking 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 no I think well I don't know let me think let me think let me think how I want to do this because I've got to remember I've got to um, Put the binding in there too. So maybe I didn't use cardboard on this. Maybe it was just the two sheets of paper. Hmm. Thinking. I'm just thinking if I really even need the chipboard. Um, I did put chipboard in the the woven covers. Um, but every layer I add is going to make it less flexible, if you know what I mean, jelly bean. So it could be, yeah, nah, I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. I don't know, it's hard making a decision.
I love cereal box weight chipboard. It's easy to work with. It's pretty darn durable. Think and think of yeah, and then I'll paint the edge black. I think I'm gonna do that. All right, let me get two pieces. <clears throat> That'll work. If I actually showed you all the rulers I really had, you would faint. You would absolutely faint. And you'd go, if you ever buy another ruler, somebody needs to commit you to the insane asylum. I'm not kidding you. I have a lot of rulers. Uh, I'll be the first to admit that. <laughs> Is that going to fit? It's not big enough. Damn it. <laughs> What was I thinking? I thought for sure that'd be big enough. Oh well. <clears throat> now I have to go get the bigger box. Hi Kimberly. Do as I say, not as I do, okay? <clears throat> these three are my, well, these are my favorite rulers right here. But I have others. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. Well, that was a big fat fail, right? No worries. I have bigger boxes. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it was the ruler's fault. <laughs> Alright, now this. I think I only need one side. Nope. That's not wide, eno wide enough either. Because that's eight and a half. Nope, I have to use two sides of it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm killing myself, man. I'm killing myself. If you can't laugh about it, what are you going to do? Sit around and cry? Cry, baby. Alright, alright. That was a minor little setback. You guys saw how to cut a smaller piece of chipboard. Heep. Aren't you glad you're a fib? <laughs> <laughs> you glad you wasted your Saturday watching this? <clears throat> I wish I could be outside, but oh my god, this weather. I think it did finally quit raining. Maybe for ten minutes. Alright, there, we've got one piece of chipboard ready to go. Well, sometimes you can measure with them. More often than not, I use mine as a straight edge to cut with. And this X-Acto has seen its better, or the X-Acto blade has seen its better days for sure. I 
I do pretty much trust these fold marks on these boxes for straightness too, but I always double check it as well. So, all right, that's all garbage. All right, sorry for that. We're on the move now. So I've got to use one per side. <coughs> I'm just, excuse me, I'm <coughs> just trying to decide what I want to use for adhesive now. Probably it would be fine to use tacky or something like that, tacky glue. I think I will you just use tacky glue and that should work. Normally if I'm going to use a box like this I do sand the um, if I'm going to put anything on it I sand the um, finish off the box. I'm not going to do that. I use my rotary cuttery. I, you know what I have a rotary cutter I never it's I'm rotary cutter challenge kind of like I'm um, Smack and Dragon challenge. Um, I don't know. Does it really matter what I use? I'm getting the tacky glue out. Where is it? That giant Mamba Jamba one. It should flow pretty good, huh? I'm going to um, all right, this is how I'm going to do this. Draw myself and then I'm going to cut it out actually bigger than that and I will trim the cardboard actually so then I don't have to clean up the little bit of inside there I'm gonna make it go edge to edge I think is what I'm gonna do and then I'll trim it to the exact size of the cover that's probably the safest way Now the rat's going to have to eat more cereal so I have more boxes. Oh, and um, I thought our appointment was on Monday and that there wouldn't be a stream on Monday. Um, I was wrong. Our appointment is actually on Tuesday, so there will be a stream on Monday. I was wrong about when our appointment was. So, there you go. Hang on. I guess I've never used this tacky glue before. Now I can't get the lid off. I might have to use something else. Do you think the matte medium would work well holding this? It's damn durable, right? Yeah, I think I will. I'll just use the matte medium. It's already out. Yeah, I can't believe I had the, the appointment wrong. But Robert said something about going to the doctor on Tuesday, and I said, no, 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 we go on Monday. And he said, no, the thing says Tuesday. I said, cool. So, yep, I'll be streaming on Monday. Woohoo. That's probably enough for 15 of these. Got to work fast because, boy, this golden map medium... This stuff dries really, really fast, you guys. I used enough for 15 of these, but it's okay. No worries. I'd rather have enough, more than enough than not enough, right? Okay. 
use matte medium for everything. Okay, bye, Dee Dee. Okay, by cutting this in two pieces, if you're wondering why I did this, well, one, it was the way that I could have enough cardboard, obviously, but two, I can leave a little bit of gap between the two, and um, it won't affect the fold. And I'll do the same thing with the um, inside cover papers. All right, you better be smooshing down there. I'll rub like hell here in a minute on this to make sure that it's all stuck down really, really good. This stuff dries seriously quick. I'm not kidding you. Like, this serious quick. Okay. Now I'm just smushing the hell out of it. I'm good at the smushing the hell out of. I can't do smack and dragon, but I can do this. Okay? So see how much when I put it together like that? I'll have to leave it open because there's matte medium smushing out the middle, but um, that's about how much space you need for relief. Now I'll smush it from the inside. Yeah, it's, it feels very substantial now, so I like this. I'm happy with this. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Now, this down here, it feels like it's popping up, so I'm going to reinforce it. You use them with the brewery stuff with your granddaughter. That's fun, Demonte. Check all the edges, make sure we got good adhesion. If there's not, I would go back in and redo it. I hope it adheres really good. Probably what I ought to do for now, honestly, is set something heavy on this. Um... I think I'm gonna um, and then I'll, I'll line it on Monday 
because I don't know how long I've been on. Probably long enough. Because I really feel like I ought to just... Of course, that matte medium dries so darn quick. See right there, I've got a problem. I'm going to have to um, go around these edges, I think. <coughs> we'll do the fast tack. I'm going to double check all these edges and if I have any place that appears to be a problem I'm going to go ahead and reinforce it with um, this bass grab tacky. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this frankly but for this it'll work fine fine fine. And I'll just use a little piece of Yeah, I, I'm not sure about that matte medium and holding this real well, but you'll find out, right? Alright. Just fixing some little problems here. I don't think it's too late. I'm going to do it with my little smusher. That seemed to be my problem child right there. Alright, this edge right here has a little bitty problem. So we'll go in there. Actually, this it's going to be fine. Let it dry. Well, the matte medium dries so quick, Dorothy, that um, I, I can tell right now where my problem areas are. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, fix them. Because if I don't do it now, I'm going to have to do it later. So it doesn't matter. And if I have a problem, I'd rather know about it now than later. Um, because right now, I can go ahead. Um, yeah, see, like right now, I can peel that up. And I don't want to be able to do that. So... I'm going to fix it now before it's even an issue later. Because the matte medium, I mean, when I say that stuff dries fast, you guys have no clue. That stuff dries fast. And if I can peel it apart now, um, yeah, it, it's not going to get any better over time. Another baby one. Got to go make ska. Oh, ska potatoes. That sounds so good. I don't know what. I, we need to eat leftovers, is what we need to eat tonight. So. Oh, ska potatoes sounds delicious. And because this whole thing is covered with matte medium, that's a nice thing, is I can wipe it now, I can do whatever. Um, so that's nice. Checking my edges, checking my edges. They look good. Trying to keep it where you guys can kind of see it, but I want to make sure that I'm not overlooking anything. 
And if I am, fix it now. Fix it now. You're going out for dinner, Eileen? Yay, you! If Robert and I um, didn't have such nasty germs, I would almost suggest that because we've been in this house for so long. I think we're getting weird. So I wouldn't mind actually heading out somewhere just to feel normal. Where are you going? Do you know, Eileen? Are you going someplace like really yummy? I wouldn't even mind just like going out for a hamburger just to get the hell out of the house. Like I'm getting serious cabin fever. Okay, can you guys see it? It's perfect. Yeah, see that corner? No, it's unacceptable. All right, now I can let it dry. I have so much glue on my hands. Ugh. All right, check this one. It looks good. Looks good. It's all very. Oh, there's a problem. And this will all be able to tell. Carabas? Cool. You're eating sweet and sour chicken as we speak. I think Robert's going to have chili and I'm going to have chicken. Eat that junk up. It's been around here for a couple days. Time to go. All right, I think I've checked all the edges. I think we're good. I think, I think, I think. Now I really do need to let it dry. Yep, looks awesome right there. It does not look awesome. Excuse me. Alright. That corner, I don't know what it is with that corner. That corner I've glued twice now. It doesn't want to stick. Maybe I need to leave it the hell alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. All right, I am so liking this, and I don't know, this I'm thinking is probably the front. Um, let's see when it's folding. Yeah, I'm thinking this is the front. No, this is the front. It might have looked really cool with some splatters on it, too. Oh, well. The recipient can splatter it if they want. Oh, I need to put some black around that, too. All right, I can do that right now while I'm thinking about it, and I'm going to do it in black, and then I'm going to let this dry, and I'll finish it on Monday. Um, and then I'll get something else done. Well, I got this big ass mess to clean up now. Um, where are my... I like the, um, these chalk pastel colored pencils for doing the black around the edges of the circles. Um...
So I just got these when I went out for my brother's funeral. I have not used them that much other than for this sort of stuff. So, um, but for doing stuff like this, these are awesome. And I might need to sharpen this. I don't know. Can you see? I'll bring you down where you can see. These are, um, I don't even know how to describe their texture. Um, they are chalky, but they're, um, yeah, I don't even know how to describe them. They're not, oh, that one's not wanting to take this chalk at all. I wonder what that's about. That's the metallic one. And the, the matte medium did take the shimmer off that. I, I knew it would. I kind of figured it would, but it left a really pretty color. Um, but yeah, this pencil is not wanting to write on that circle at all. I wonder what that's about. That's weird. Yeah, it does it on the blue. It almost has to be the metallic pigment because on the blue and that one, it worked awesome. So that's weird. And um, before I put a layer of matte medium on over this, I will spray it with fixative now because the matte medium will move this charcoal or the chalk pencil. So um, I will give it a quick spray with some fixative. But maybe I should do what Ange did and just do some hairspray. Because that worked pretty good yesterday, didn't it, Ange? And I've heard that before. I just never think of it. I don't know why. See how it looks different now with the um, circles edged? Yes, they will smudge, Cheryl. That's why I'll have to fix it in them before I um, go over this with matte medium or anything else. Yeah, I could smudge it out. And if I get carried away and, and make a mess, these also erase very nicely. So. But on those metallic ones, it's just not wanting to take the pigment like it does on the other ones. That's really weird. But just edging them makes that um, that much of a difference. So I'm going to end here shortly. Is anybody else wanting to stream? I know you on a plan to get stuff done today, Ange. But are you ready to art, or are you still working? Actually, when you posted that photo of um, the laundromat or your laundry area with like four or five empty washers. I thought, oh man, I'd love that to have like five washing machines and just get all the laundry done in one hour. Because I used to use laundromat when we'd go down to Texas in the RV. Um, I hated the laundromat. <laughs> hated it. But if you got there at the right time of day where you could literally go in and get all your laundry done in two hours, like a month's worth of laundry in two hours, it would be like, sweet! Because I do one load at a time, obviously. <laughs> but it takes me sometimes two days, you know, by the time I dink around. In fact, I'm still not done catching up from this week. I 
I think I will try hairspray to fix this. So yeah, see how different it looks now with the um, two dollars for each machine. That's that's not bad at all, and that's not bad at all. Down in Texas, this has been a lot of years ago. We were paying three fifty a load. So yeah, two dollars a load, not bad. All right, that looks a lot better. All right, there where I went over a little bit, I don't like that. But the cool thing is, erase it. Okay, I was just asking in case you wanted to. I It doesn't matter to me at all. But I'm going to pull this out. And the only thing I have left to do now is I can trim it up. I think it's I think I could trim it up right now. I really should put a new blade now that I'm kind of working on finished product. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't want to screw up because of a nasty exacto blade, so I will put a new one in. Have no fear, I have another box. And see, I haven't been snuffling and coughing and sneezing so bad today, so I am getting a lot better, for real. I feel more like my own bad self. Alright, here we go. When you put in a new blade, don't press. Just let the sharpness do what it's got to do. I can feel it cutting through the matte medium. There we go. I think I'm cutting through now. Perfect! And I don't know if you guys, you know, cutting it oversized and then trimming it when it's on the book is a whole lot easier than, um, than trying to cut that to fit. You're never going to do it. So, oh, don't press a new blade, but press the heck out of the paper when you're doing Smack and Dragon. <laughs> yeah, that's my plan, Eileen. That's the plan, of course. Uh. I am much better with an X-Acto knife than I am with Smack and Dragon. Have you not figured that out yet? <clears throat> I am a wizard with an X-Acto. Complete klutz with Smack and Drag. I'm going to do Smack and Drag when you guys aren't around, and then someday when I'm going to, Eileen will be ready to make fun of me about Smack and Dragon, and I'm going to come out and just like, and everything's going to be awesome, just like Dee Dee's. I sounded like a Japanese chef there, didn't I? <laughs> There's something wrong with me. Alrighty. Now this is starting to be nice. Nice, nice, nice.
it feels really good, you guys. It's um, it's very substantial. I'm glad I did the um, the chipboard on the inside. Um, now on that the inside paper, I mean, I literally have none to waste, none. So, in fact, I might have to um, do a blackboard or something around the edge. We will teach you on your trip. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You're actually done with the kitchen. Did you wash the floor, Ange? Kitchen is not done until the floor is washed. I'm speaking on behalf of my mother. She was a stickler, absolute stickler. Your journal is looking amazing. Good, Cheryl. Good luck with that, CB. Eileen, be nice. For once in your miserable life, just be nice. All right. Just checking, just checking, just checking, because this thing could not possibly have grown. Making sure I have enough paper. It, man. I'm going to have to, I don't know. I might have to put something around the edge. I don't know. Or I'm going to have to make a bigger sheet. I'll deal with that on Monday. I'm not going to deal with that today. Um, but yeah, when I line this up, I don't know if you guys can see it. When I line this up corner to corner, and this is all, it's supposed to be all 8 and a half by 11, right? Um, when I line this up, lay it out. Look at how much short I am. Can you see that? I'll come down real close. See? I'm a little over a sixteenth short. Now, these two things I could do. I could go ahead and trim this up, the, the cover up a little bit, um, or I could make a new sheet of paper. I'm kinda... I, I don't know. I don't know. There's a couple ways I could do it. I could actually paint a black border around here and set this in. That's probably how I'm going to handle that. Yep, I probably <coughs> I probably am going to do that. Paint black around it and then if there's a 16th or something that's showing that's fine because the outside here is a little over a 16th um, black there so it'll look fine. Do another sheet. Well, I could do either one. Um, I really like this sheet, though. I like it with this. I think it's pretty. I think it matches really nicely. Um, so, yeah. I was waiting for the floors because of my back. Okay. Have somebody come help you. Became unable to do her homework. She used to sit in her chair and beady eyes would spy on me. <laughs> my mother was, oh my God, I won't put this on recording. But anyway, if you watch this on YouTube, thanks so much. I will go ahead and do something with the inside cover on Monday during my stream. And then I will probably um, open Eileen's gift that she sent from Joggles, which I have no clue what it is yet, but I'm very excited about it. Uh, <coughs> so come back Monday. I suspect Monday is going to be a messy day. Today was a messy day, but I got nothing to do but clean it up now. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.